Hi there, my name is Meg Stickle and I am the owner and the personal trainer at AIM Fitness where we help our senior clients and their families live a more fulfilled life, uh, more um, peace and more mobility and strength. So um, we are a local Ottawa business where we do um, in-home personal training, group fitness classes at retirement residences and condo buildings. And if you've been tuning in for the past few videos, I've been talking to you about the five steps to help your parents to live a more fulfilled life. And today I'm going to be tackling the topic, one of my favorites, about getting your parents moving. So as a fitness professional and um, with over 16 plus years of experience working with seniors, um, I have seen a huge difference in people who have um, been very active and moving all of their life, been involved um, in fitness and, and health. Um, and who have lived more active lives versus um, people who have had a very sedentary life and haven't done as much, have not been as involved in activities. And the good news is that for people, for seniors, whether they have been active or not, it's never too late to start. So I've had a lot of clients who have been in their mid 80s um, to even in their 90s and um, their kids have reached out to me and they've it really talked about how you know mom and dad have not moved they are very sedentary um, and I'm really worried about them but they've never exercised at all they've never been interested in that um, and they've almost been a little hesitant or a little scared to have their parents move and you know there's a lot of fear around that there's a lot of fear of injury if I'm going to move and I haven't been active before I might injure myself and often that's actually a reason that people have stopped being active they may have had an injury or they may have fallen and broken a bone and they're worried about making an injury or a chronic condition worse. So it is really important to, um, to just know that that fear is, is real, that it's there, but it's also a barrier because it's stopping um, them from, from feeling better and seeing improvement in their life. So um, at AIM Fitness, we specialize in working with um, older adults and what we've seen over the years uh, are incredible changes, really, really incredible. Um, I've, uh, we've worked with a lot of uh, couples as well, and um, those people who you know, range from never, never exercising like I've been talking about, and then being able to um, have more strength, more mobility. Um, their mood has improved, I've seen that a lot too. And, um, and then specifically, I'll share a story that was, uh, that's really cool. So um, I had um, a, a woman reach out to me a number of years ago now, and she said, uh, Meg, I came across your website, and um, I would love to chat with you because my senior mother, who's in her, uh, she was 85 at the time, um, she is having a really hard time uh, lifting her arms over her head. And she said, you know, it's, she's had a few shoulder issues, nothing, uh, nothing major, but it's just from lack of use. She's losing a lot of strength. And, uh, and she said, Meg, um, I've, my mom actually said, um, could you please move the, um, the plates and the cups from the top shelf down a little bit lower because I no longer have the strength to reach my arms overhead. And her daughter responded and said, no, I will not do that because you need to maintain your strength and us lowering everything down will not help you to gain that strength back. And I believe that's possible. And that's when she reached out to me. So one thing I did very early on with this client is I, I wanted to see how strong is she? You know, how, what's, her, what's her range of motion? And when I got her to lift her arms over her head, she was about able to bring them about halfway. So I could see that she has lost a lot of strength in her shoulders and in her arms and her mobility has really um, decreased. So um, one thing I started doing with her is I started to take her right to the kitchen, to that place, and we started practicing lifting those cups and putting them on that shelf and bringing them back down, reaching the plates, bringing it to the top shelf and bringing it back down. And we did this every session. And it was incredible to see the improvement um, over, over that time span that I worked with her over those months. Um, so she was able to gain strength. Her, um, her range of motion increased. She was able to, to reach higher over her head and she did feel confident to be able to reach down the cups and plates uh, on her own. Um, and that was really encouraging to see. 
And this was a lady in her mid 80s who just figured that was it. She was had gone downhill and, and that was all. So uh, I share this story with you just to encourage you that yeah, it's not too late. It's never too late to start moving and to start exercising. Um, so and really finding out, you know, maybe you know your parent or your spouse and what they've been involved with in the past. And uh, one thing we love to chat with about with our clients and with our clients' families are what are the activities that you really enjoyed doing when you were younger? So maybe that was um, going for long hikes or walks or maybe that was um, going cross-country skiing. And maybe some of these things are not doable, but maybe there's alternatives now. So really thinking about, um, you know, how can you get your senior parent moving? Uh, and I'll share some suggestions with you. So the first suggestion is what I just shared is to find out what do they enjoy doing? What did they enjoy doing in the past and how can we adapt that? So if your parent was really into hiking um, or going for long walks every day, but it's winter time, then maybe the solution is to get them involved in um, a local mall walk where they can gather with a, a group of other seniors and do that a few times a week. Um, and if they're afraid of falling, especially, that can be a really good one. They're inside, um, there's no, <laughs> no boulders or um, rocks or sticks that could um, get, get in the way. Another solution is to find uh, a local fitness class um, that's catered for seniors. And that may be through um, the city. They may have uh, some different facilities that offer something. Um, it may be a fall prevention class. Um, it may be at a community center as well. So do your research. Honestly, Google is my best friend. <laughs> it's great to find awesome resources of what's going on in your area or the area of your, of your parent. Um, and then another solution too is, um, is to um, find a personal trainer who can come to their home, who can give them specific exercises for their needs. So um, if they are having range of motion issues in their arms and their shoulders, then the personal trainer can put together a specific program um, to help them to help develop that strength while taking into consideration their limitations. Um, maybe it's physio that they need, and, uh, and there's so many businesses, physio, reflexology, um, so many different businesses and companies now that go in-home. So if your parents don't have a vehicle, then that's no problem. There, there is a solution for that. Um, so why is exercising, why is getting your, your parent moving so important? Well, for many, many reasons. So when you get them moving, um, not only will it uh, get the blood flowing, but it will also help um, to get the muscles stronger. It'll help to get um, their, uh, their bones stronger as well. Um, maybe your parent has um, osteoporosis or, or they have um, weakened muscles. So it is, it is really important um, to strengthen both, both muscles and, and their bones as well. Another reason it's important to exercise is for our mental health. So when we move, when our blood is going throughout our body, um, through our brain as well, we start to feel better. And I like to call them happy hormones. <laughs> we have we release endorphins when we move. Um, when we are um, exerting some energy, we end up feeling so much better. And uh, this is something I, I constantly see as I check in with my clients. I'll ask them at the end of our session, how are you feeling? And it's amazing to see the smile on their face, um, you know, amazing to see their eyes a little bit brighter. Um, they often are sitting up straighter, just carrying themselves better. Um, so that's a huge, huge benefit is mental health as well. Um, often as well, what can develop um, from seniors who are very sedentary and sitting most of the day is um, that can lead to um, uh, to blood clots that can lead to inflammation um, they may have swelling in their legs as well and uh, they might have a lot of stiffness sore back uh, if they're reading a book in front of them all the time they may be leaning forwards without even knowing it um, and you know when we're not motivated to move if we don't have a reason to get out of the house or a reason to to uh, exercise because we don't have accountability or that support then it is a lot easier to be very sedentary. And I've seen this in a lot of seniors. Um, and something else I've seen quite often, and usually when people call me, 
um, they say, you know what, I've been trying for a long time to get mom and dad moving and they just don't listen to me. So I just want to speak to that because that is very, very common. I would say about probably 70% of the families I talk to experience that. And often the reason for that is, um, you know, your parents see you in a certain way. To them, you are still their kid. And it is amazing for you to be able to support them and uh, provide different solutions for them. But they may not want to listen to everything you say. They may not trust you. <laughs> and they may find that's too bossy or they just don't want to hear it. So that's very normal as well. So I find in that case, if your parents are really not listening, then find an outside professional who can come in and uh, who wears that, uh, that professional hat um, and who's not as emotionally involved. You know, you're, they're not family, so they can say things in a way that your parents will respect and they will hear and they will do in a different way. And countless times families have said, oh my goodness, how have you done this? <laughs> how have you got our parent to move <laughs> and to do this every week? Um, and then they start to see the changes in their parent. They see that they're stronger, that um, yeah, they feel better, that they're in better mood as well. Um, yeah, so definitely seek out professional support when you need it because um, it, it really does make a difference. Um, so just know that uh, as you are helping your parent to stay uh, mobile and active, you're helping them to maintain their mobility, you're helping them to improve their mental health, and you're helping them improve their physical health all at the same time. So thank you so much for watching today. Um, this is our series which is talking about how you can support your parents to live a more fulfilled life. We have five steps. And um, in my next video, I'm going to be talking about how you can help your senior parent find their purpose. So um, tune in for the next video and have a wonderful day.